All right, in this example, we're, we're trying to calculate the work done in uh, displacing an object by applying a force at an angle. So there's, uh, there's some force, there's some load here that we're moving and uh, we're, we're accomplishing that by applying a constant force at an angle from the direction that we're actually moving it. So you can imagine, um, you know, grabbing onto a handle and, and dragging something along the ground. Um, that's going to, we're gonna be applying a force at an angle um, and it's going to result in the, the load being moved horizontally along the ground. And um, we're, we're told that uh, work is going to be equal to the dot product of these two vectors, of this force vector and this displacement vector. Now, um, if, we're, if we're given uh, the magnitude of the displacement, we know how far it's moved, and we're given the magnitude of the force, we know how many um, newtons of force we're applying to this load. A and we're given this angle in between here. We can figure out the work involved um, by figuring out what this vector projection is. The, if we figure out this, um, this distance here of this vector projection, so the scalar component of uh, vector f uh, projected onto vector d, uh, which is going to be given to us by the, the magnitude of the force times the cosine of that angle. That's going to be our, uh, our scalar component. In other words, how much force is being applied in the horizontal direction. And if we take the amount of force applied in the, in the horizontal direction and multiply that by the magnitude of the of the displacement. In other words, how far we've moved it uh, times the amount of force that we've applied only in the horizontal direction, that's going to give us our work. So work is going to be uh, is going to be equal to this here, this uh, the magnitude of the force times the cosine of theta. That's the um, the magnitude of the force in in the direction of d. And uh, then we're going to multiply that by, um, by the magnitude of d. So we're taking this, this magnitude here of this vector, the amount of force only in the horizontal direction, we're multiplying it by the magnitude of d, which is the distance that we've moved it. Um, so in this case, we're told that the magnitude of f is equal to uh, 40 newtons, and the angle is 60 degrees, and um, the magnitude of the displacement is 3 meters. And so all we have to do here is just plug these, plug these in now that we know that this is, is the same as, as this, and this is going to give us our work. So the work involved in this example is going to be 40 newtons. That's our uh, the magnitude of our force um, times the cosine of 60 degrees um, times three, uh, three meters. And we know that, so this is 40 times uh, the cosine of 60 degrees is one half times three, so this is 60 uh, newtons times meters is gonna give us joules. Uh, so this is uh, 60 joules is going to be the amount of work done in this situation.